will stay fresh for 10 years. Wow. In this years? jar, 10 wow. years. This, believe it or not, oh, okay. is a small potato. <laughs> so aside, <laughs> yeah, 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 right? yeah. you can actually pull these fibers apart, comb them, and you can weave them into rope. I'm going this way. You can uh, blog me if you want. I don't care. Oh, you're okay? So welcome to the farm. We're going to show you guys around, okay? Yeah. Let's go, let's go. The one thing you have to do, oh, God okay. commands it, is you prepare for the future, right? Okay. So he says you have to prepare for the food. So yeah. this bin is food safe. Brute is a food safe container. So you yeah. don't have to any, any um, um, toxins. That's full of grain. This is full of grain for wheat. Wow. This is full of uh, from last year's harvest. Oh, look at that. Honey from our beehives. All right. Beets, turnip, garlic. We have all the shelves are full of canned goods for the year. Oh, Come wow. Good. Okay. Get inside. Get inside. Oh, so my we, God. So we have uh, onions, beans, carrots, more honey. So this is a year's supply of food, you guys. Uh, so everything, the, this is freeze-dried fruit. We have, we have beans. We have, uh, again, we have hamburger. So this might be interesting for you. Look at this. So our chickens, we can't eat all the eggs we get every day. Right. So oh. what we do is get hydrated lime. We saturate water with hydrated lime and we put the eggs in there. And these eggs will stay fresh for 10 years. Wow. In this years? jar, 10 wow. years. Wow. So we have 10 years. So all winter next year, the, the, the chickens stop laying eggs. So this is what we eat during the wow, winter. All right. That. And of course I have a nice survive the winter. <laughs> right. So what, what happens, you got to deal with three things. You have to have a source of water. Right. So what we do is we have a pond. I'm going to show you that where we, we break the ice every morning, morning and we fill jars full of water. And that's, okay. that's our water during the winter. We have a pig, we call this a pig. <laughs> and it's full of propane. So that keeps the propane heater going when wow. we're not here to stoke the stove full of wood. And we'll show you the wood stove right here. We won't be staying in here. This is uh, for oh, uh, nice. a friend of ours, a tour. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. right. Okay, so this, this stove heated this cabin all winter during minus 40. Well, wood stove. From just, the propane, right? Nope. Wood. Just, wood. From the wood, just wood, yeah. Just wood. Just wood. From the wood, yeah. The propane heater we had just to supplement. Yeah. Uh, wow. So on the really cold days, we had a heater going, a propane heater to heat the, the store, whole food house, storage yeah. in here. This is where we stayed last night. Really? That's fine. I don't care. So this year was kind of interesting. We had a lot of rain. It's okay. Wow, this is huge. We got Elijah, Sunshine. We have Mama Goat. That's Mama Goat right there. Just had a baby goat, you guys. Oh, right look at the dog, Morrison. Come baby here. goat. Wow, this is amazing. Yes, I know. Anyway, yes, I know. Yes, I know. I know. Wow, wow. Yeah, we gave them a shot because they wanted them. And we dewormed them. So, all right. So, you guys have to choose. All right. So, come on. Goldie, this is my favorite one. You might like this one, Mariah. Let's go see that. This is our pond. So, y'all blessed us. We were able to dig a hole and it filled up with water for us. So, we're very blessed. It's all pure water. You can drink that water if you wanted to. It's, it's dark, it's like tinted, but it's pure water. Basically, our house is going to hopefully be done by winter. Yeah, so we're, yeah, pretty quick. So it's coming into the, so we're building it into the hill, and we're going to cover it with dirt. So it's going to be completely covered in dirt, like a hobbit hole. So, so basically, front door is there, and uh, there's going to be a loft up on top, and so, and and we're going to fill it everything in with dirt. So, so basically, the walls are going to be like firewood. So we're going to take firewood. Mm -hmm. and just stack it 
There's gonna be stacks of the walls. So the walls are gonna be stacked by the way. So structurally, the, the, the four inch piece, and then I'm gonna fill the inside. You cannot just cut the trees here and well, make your. We do. We do cut the trees in yeah. here. I yeah. can show you where we cut the trees. We have uh, tamarack. So this will be this will be like this. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm, yeah. So we're gonna take these. We're gonna cut down a bunch of these. Mm -hmm. We're gonna split them, and we're gonna leave them like this. So this is mortar. This this stuff I use the mixer. So I mix clay and sand and water and straw, yeah. and it makes this. It's like concrete. Mm -hmm. So this mortar will go around it, and then. We'll stack it and keep going, keep going, up, 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 up. Yeah, that's that's nice. this For the summer, we have a shower. Oh, okay. So shower. basically, the way you do this is all solar power. So when you want to shower, hang on. Oh, nice. So this is hot water, hey? Okay? Oh, yeah, right. So it's all hot water. Like, feel it, Tim, mm -hmm. feel it. In the middle of the bush, oh, you have hot water. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, oh my. So Jenna has a bath, you know, oh, okay. and, and we can do our dishes. We can do our dishes. So, yeah, I understand, but it's just fast. Very fast. Yeah, this will be gone in about five minutes. It drains away. Okay, but so this is a compost toilet. So compost toilet. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know that, but. Um, this is actually in Leviticus. You can read about how you're supposed to take care of your waste, body waste, yeah, yeah. in Leviticus. So you're supposed to cover it with dirt, leaves, yeah. twigs. And so you do your business, right? Yeah. You do your business, you cover it with, with uh, and it doesn't stink, it doesn't smell like an outhouse. Oh, wow. Once the pail's done, you dump it in the compost post. And we've been living like this for five years. We've been taking care <gasps> wow. of all of our waste. And awesome. you reuse it. So over time, over a few years, right. your human waste turns into soil. It turns into dirt. Yeah, and yeah. you can mm -hmm. throw it in your garden. Mm -hmm. And it's pure fertilized earth. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Right. And this is this is biblical. This is the way we're supposed right. to do it. Supposed uh, to. I've always, I've never agreed with wasting water by flushing toilets. Yeah. It's been a waste of water. I've always noticed, known that. And I've, mm -hmm. so this is the way you take care of your human waste. Uh, wow. This is where you take pails, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like this is this is our this is the tap that's connected yeah. to that system to do dishes, but when we're in there, it, yes, the pipes will be coming out. Right. So the garden is what I'm most proud of. So I use a little pump, right? You turn this pump on, and look. Wow. Right. So I water the garden. Isn't that amazing? Oh my god. It's goodness. amazing. We're in the middle of the bush. I know, hey. And you can water. So oh, where do you get those water? From the rain? No. I'll show you. Yay. So I have a big transfer pump right here. See I see. Hose? See this fire hose right there? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I fill that container mm -hmm. from the pond. Ah, uh, I see. With now the big I know. Transfer pump, right. And then I take the smaller transfer pump yeah, yeah. and then I transfer it to the garden. Yeah. I see. And, and so, Janet, we made these raised gardens. So, on the outside, we have raised gardens. Yeah. Underneath these mounds are uh, rotting trees, yeah. tree trunks, and that. So, yeah. like this. Uh, yeah. Well, you can't see it, but there's some rotting tree yeah, trunks. Yeah, 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 so, wow. so, over time, the rotting tree trunks turn into dust. Yeah. dust that's right. Wow. Dust to dust, right? <laughs> so, so, this is, so, these are strawberries, our onions, our potatoes. Right, spaghetti squash, our tomatoes. This is all beets. I love my sugar beets. Yeah, these Maurice doesn't onions, know these beets. I told him about this. Oh, wow. So, beets. so these are our onions. Here, yeah, have we a, have so have many a, onions. Here, here, here. Try, try yeah, one. Of these. I have lots in my bucket. I have lots. You have lots of chives. God love your chives, eh? Yeah, yeah. And they're perennial, which is wonderful, right? Yeah, yeah they're yes, they're perennial. they're perennials. Eat, right? Oh, but eat. I never eat. Do we eat like yeah, this? Can we get? Oh no, we don't have like this. Huh? Can, can we get one? Can we get raw plants? Huh? Oh, we eat raw? Yeah, oh, cushy yeah. can run. <laughs> sure. Sure. Anyway, so and so this is uh, our rhubarb. Don't ask me where those poppies came from. I have no idea. This is our oh, dill. Oh, those poppies. Dill is one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I know this. The grounds of dill, beets, potatoes, carrots. Wow. Our beans, our peas. Everything was here. Everything here. Well, there's enough food here for four people for a year. Yeah. That's what I have to think of, right? So 
We got all our beets here. I love my sugar beets. Our carrots, tomatoes, beans, beans, uh, beans rock beans. Wow. Lettuce, have a piece of lettuce. See that, Morris? That's how we eat. That's how they eat. Yeah. <laughs> Can I see you eating? Ah, yeah, yeah, it's so good, man. Well, you want to taste something really good? Mm -hmm, the Have spinach. some spinach. Oh, you gotta try the spinach. Mm -hmm. Right here. There's your spinach. Thank you. That's great, eh? Wow. The zucchini is growing. That's it, please. Wow. Mm -hmm. Our Swiss chard. Swiss chard is amazing. I love my Swiss chard. Oh, be careful with skipping on the plant, I think. Is that on the plant? No, these are, these, so these are nettle. So stinging nettle, we have hemp nettle and stinging nettle. Now stinging nettle is not a weed, like everyone says it is. We yeah. took a little portion of it from the nettle, but the nettle yeah. is all around us. Mm, wow. So at a time, we're not ready yet, but at a time we're gonna probably process that over, over time, right? But anyway. There's potatoes over there, that's right. So I have <laughs> potatoes growing over there amongst all the nettles. <laughs> when I dug that pond, mm -hmm. there was four feet wow. of this soil. This soil came from that pond. And it's 100% loam, beautiful growing. So y'all provided. When we dug the pond, we got a free garden out of it, basically. Wow. I'm going to pull you out a, uh, a radish. I want you to try a radish. Wow. You think it's all over the place? What's that? You think all over the place? This, this compost? Uh, yes. It's well. There's some places. There's some places where it's uh, deeper. Um, here, let me. There we go. It's not yet. <laughs> yeah, it's still small. Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's yeah. Ready, ready to eat. Wow, more is. The dirt's huh? good for you, so don't worry about the dirt. Uh, you want one? I think I'm good. I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. I don't know if you're I, good. There's none I plant good but that. God. Uh, well, yeah. never mind. I, I can. I plant this one too. You study hey guys. Allah. You study Allah. Yes, wow. I do. I am a scripture hound. I love my scripture. So you read Bible every day, every time. Every day. I study Hebrew, ancient Hebrew, Paleo Hebrew. Wow. Amazing. I love my scripture because there's nothing more, right? There's nothing. Right. More. Maurice loved to read uh, every day. Good. Yeah. Because that's, it's life, right? Yeah. yeah How do we know Elohim if we don't study scripture? Mm -hmm. We can't. We have to study scripture. And we think we know so much. Oh. And then when you read scripture, you realize you it, it humbles you. You don't know nothing. You realize you know nothing. Mm -hmm. that's right. And, and the, the, that's yeah, right. the 70, 80 years that we live on this world, yeah. we're just scratching the surface of what Torah is. But it's okay because we have eternity to learn the rest of it, right? Are you a preacher? Because it look like you're a preacher. I was a preacher for many years. And then it's I left. Good. I post this one in the YouTube. But I left Christianity because I realized Christianity was very evil in the sense <laughs> that they took people away from Torah. And mm -hmm. so I left Christianity. And I'm proud to say I'm not a Christian. I know that sounds silly. Yeah, but I'm, I'm a, a follower. Yeah. I'm a follower of Yahushua. I'm a follower of Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. And I'm a follower of the Torah. And I realized that um, all the lies that I learned, I'm starting to unlearn. I'm le yeah. unlearning all the lies. Right. And living agrarian, this is what we call this living agrarian lifestyle, brings us closer to the Father. Because this is the way He intended us to live. Mm -hmm. He didn't intend us to live in cities. Exactly. He didn't intend us to live where we're dependent upon a government. He wanted us to be dependent on Him. Mm -hmm. So the more that we trust Him, the more that we rely on Him, the more that He blesses us. Right. And that's, that's Deuteronomy right there. Mm -hmm. The blessings and curses, right? Okay. So anyway, this is radishes. Hey, this radishes. is my first time to eat a radish, like a, fr a fresh one. <laughs> it's delicious, like candy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so anyway. This is radish. Amazing, guys. Um, they're high in vitamins and minerals. So, yeah. So I, I wanted to experiment to see how they would grow. And uh, you know what? I'm going to pull one over here. I think the bigger one. So that... Is this potato? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I pulled one out by accident last last week. So I'll, I'll pull this one out here just to kind of give you an idea. Okay. So. This, believe it or not. Oh, okay. Is a small potato. But if I dig under there. There's uh, inside. I'm going to find potatoes. Okay. But these are young yet, right? Yes, it's young. It's still They're only young just, yet, right? you know. Yeah. So they're starting to grow. 
Right. But the, this, believe it or not, is a potato. It's going to grow to about this size. And there's, they grow tons and tons and tons of potatoes here. So they are going to reseed soil, themselves man. year after year. These are young yet, like I said. So, so I it's, can't, it's still young, so that's young, why, yeah. But, but these will grow potatoes. It, wow. it tastes a lot like a radish. Take a bite of it. Wow. Does it taste like a potato? <laughs> yeah. Sort of, right? But it's young yet, right? Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so this is my experiment. I haven't, I haven't totally perfected the whole process yet, but eventually, eventually these will overtake all these nettles. So this whole field will be Jerusalem artichokes eventually. So we'll have potatoes for thousands of people. Post-apocalyptic potato. <laughs> wow. So let me show you the sheep. <laughs> so growing some corn. Finally got my corn growing. I love my corn. <clears throat> you ever seen anyone use a scythe before? <laughs> so a scythe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's a good one. <laughs> So, a scythe, if you don't have gas, how are you going to take... Uh, exactly. So, this is a stinging nettle. Mm -hmm. The leaves sting you. If you touch your skin, they'll create a blister. But what's amazing about the stinging nettle is that you dry these leaves, they're full of nutrients. Yeah. The stem, if you rot the stem, let it rot a bit, if you see, it has these fibers on the outside. Mm -hmm. These fibers are very, very, very strong. And so you can actually pull these fibers apart, comb them, and you can weave them into rope. Oh, and if you weave them into rope, you, if you need a cordage for some reason, right. uh, this works for that. You can also weave that into clothing, like this shirt. Right. See the shirt? See the weaving in the shirt? Right. That's hemp. So oh. basically, it's exactly the same as this stuff. And you can weave this stuff into clothing. So this basically is the future clothing if we had to. If yeah. necessary, if all the stores close down, we could still make clothing or cloth mm -hmm. with, the, with the nettle. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Pretty cool. So I'll show you our sheep. Oh, you have sheep over there? Yeah. Yeah. So goats and sheep. Uh, let me tell you about goats and sheep. Hmm. Goats, they take care of themselves. Goats are amazing. Yeah. I love my goats. Sheep, on the other hand, they provide meat and they provide wool. And so we sheared these sheep two days ago. So you have bags of wool from these sheep. So they look kind of weird right now. <laughs> but um, they are right now. So you're looking. So the two ones with the horns. Okay, those are called Jacob sheep. Uh, uh, apparently, Jacob yeah, that's right. raised uh, those sheep. Yeah, that's right. The, what do you call that one? The, 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 yeah. So they they get twice the size of wool, right? The wool is out like this. So we just sheared them, right? So there's the male. The spot, the spot, the spot is what they call that one? Jacob's sheep? Yeah, the spot. Well, they're spotted, yeah. They're remember spotted, remember yeah. Jacob kept yeah. the black, yeah. remember? Yeah, 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 remember? Yeah. And Laban, Laban yeah. kept all the white ones, the white ones yeah. right? So he kept the spotted ones, and so spotted he started one, yeah, breeding. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, Jacob's smart. Yeah. So those are Jacob's sheep, and then the one little girl in the middle is a black belly Jamaican yeah, yeah, mouflon. And so the mouflon, she uh, basically... Is a very special breed. So anyway, we had more, but a bear came and scared them, and a couple of them killed. Uh, so we had some bad luck there. But but now we're gonna bring our sheep back up. Hopefully they'll have to start breeding next year, and we'll have twenty or thirty sheep here wow. in the next couple of years. But right now, I mean, there's it's our starting herd, and we lost our oh, male. I haven't herd. shown you is the bees. Yeah, bees. Yeah, yeah. I how how long you been here in this place? One year. One year. Wow. So we built all of this, so it took about four years. Right. We had to build the road in, then we had to make the clearing, I had to build the building. So you did all the, the road too, hey? Yeah, we built right in. Yeah, we just cut down all the trees. Wow. It took two years. And you know what? The funny thing is, we did it all ourselves. Yeah. Just my wife and I. That's wow, it. Wow, no you guys are amazing. No wow. Yep. Wow. So my wife we cut down all this for the, the feed the sheep and the goat. This is all metal. In their barn. Crazy, eh? Smell it. You just smell it. It's amazing. Do you have a knock on my jacket? Go ahead and go see. Huh? Go see there. 
Yeah, I will go and see them. Okay. And there's lots of food all around us, eh? I don't know if you know, but if you've ever foraged, yeah. there's so much food around us. Right. As you walk. Um, so if a person needed to, if they didn't have a garden like we do, you can still go out and forage and have food. So you and my husband will go and I will just go back there? Sure. Okay, thank you. Guys, this is amazing. They survive without any, like, paying bills. You don't have to worry to pay bills. I love that. That's what my husband want to do. But uh, I don't know, because we have small kids. And, uh, yeah, you can pretty much survive during summertime. Winter time probably is a little bit hard when you not get used to this kind of life, eh? But for them, as you can see, they prepare. Iso na kanong nagaramid dito yung kalsada na sika. Iso nga kastipi man. <laughs>